Oh, hey, you didn't see there. Got my mic in my hand, too. Uh, just finished up some engineering homework. Um, engineering, labs, labs, equations, equations, math, math, labs, math lab. We just finished our math lab project. Yeah, so this is uh, Team uh, Redbeard, and we did our audio, sam uh, audio sampler project. And I'm Justin Morrison. And I'm Brian Lococo. I'm Brian Tinucci, and I will be starting us off looking at the project flow diagram. So here you have open GUI, and you have four uh, ways you can go with this. And here I will show you on the actual GUI. So first of all, you'll notice that there are 16 buttons where you could load uh, your own values or preset values. So you click load, uh, just a sample. And it will turn yellow, it means it w is ready to, it is loaded. And if you click it again, turn green, green means go, and it is loaded in the player. You either click mono or stereo, and play sample. And then stop stops it. And if you notice right here, uh, time will uh, count with the sample, count in seconds with the sample. And if you click pause, it will pause the time. And then if you hit resume, it will resume at that time. Here it is when I show you. So, and then that is for the uh, load your own. And then we have four preset values that you can choose from. So we'll go, I feel good. And they are loaded down in this. Again, yellow means loaded. And click it again, green means go. Stereo, and you play. So that's the loading. And also, if you look in the upper right hand corner over here, then we have where you can record your own sample. So I'll hit record and then I'll stop the recording. Test, test, test. And then you can play the recording. Or you can, and you can erase that recording and notice nothing will be played. And then you can also save your recording. So I'll save it for test. Uh, it will be saved as a .wav file. Okay, you could, it was saved, and then you can also load it back up, click it again, and it will change with all the effects in here. And now I'm passing off to Justin Morrison, we'll talk about the plot. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about the plot on uh, this audio slider and also the chopping here. So um, let's just go start a new preload here, Uptown Funk. Um, so when I press play... And then I press stop. So there's a a new plot comes up with each new song, and it plots frequency versus time. And um, it does that with recording the sample and also with any uh, preloaded and also um, your own uploaded files. So now I'm going to move to the slider here. So with this slider, it the length of this whole slider is the length of the song. So the user can actually wherever they put it that's where the, the song is actually going to start so it, where I'll put it like say in the middle of this and it should play in the middle of the song so that there it played uh, it started at the middle of the song so I can move it anywhere throughout this bar and it'll put it in that specific spot in the song um, yeah so now I'm going to move on to chopping here so I'm going to upload a load another preset um, so the user inputs a start um, minute and second which is the minute and second of the actual song where it's going to start and they also put the ending minute and second so I'm just going to do um, five seconds after that minute 35 and then click chop and then press play Okay, so right there, it just played that five second bit from a minute 30 in the song and a minute 35. So now uh, Brian Lococo is going to talk to you guys about effects and also the frequency control at the bottom. All 
All right, so now we are moving on to the effects portion of the of our project, of our audio project. So why don't we go ahead and load a sample here. Um, let's select it, press stereo, and uh, as you can see on the right side over here, you can see a bunch of different effects, reverse, filtering some frequencies, low and high pass. Um, you can fade in and out. Um, I'm going to go ahead for a speed up here, and it will prompt you to enter the factor to speed up. So let's go one and a half times faster. And when you play that, as you heard there, the song sped up by a factor of 1.5. So why don't we go ahead and load another song in. And we're going to add the robot effect down here. And we're also going to add a delay. So the delay in this edit box, you need to add the time delay. Let's go for two and a half seconds. No, two seconds is fine. Um, check the delay box so that it's on. We're doing the robot effect as well. We have our sample loaded in, and we're going to play it. As you can see, before the song started to play, there was about a two second delay, and the robot effect was indeed on the song. So let's move down to the bottom of our GUI, where we have a frequency control panel. And this is basically, it simulates a keyboard. As you can see, you have the notes, with the middle being high C here. So when you press one of these keys, it will give that frequency, which have been tuned to that of a piano. And um, also in this drop down menu, you can choose the selected frequency if you would like. So I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of these frequencies for you so you can hear. All right, so there we go. And as you can see on the plot, when I pressed each one of those frequencies, it plots a sawtooth function of that frequency versus time. And that is just about it for a GUI. Um, thank you guys for watching.